What's up guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel X-Man and Co. Today we're making a snook folded up in some banana leaves with some spices and some goodies. It's going to be amazing. Hang around. The snookfish, very traditional for South Africa, also known as a pike, is a long thin fish, part of the species of the snake mackerel and it's found in the seas of the southern hemisphere. Now guys, if you don't know the snook or you don't know a pike, this bad boy is going to be amazing. Today's cook is very straightforward, very easy. There's so many traditional ways of doing a snook on the fire. You can do it in a pan, you can do it on the open fire, or you could even go to the point where you wrap it up in banana leaves with some goodies inside just to uplift it, make it special and to enjoy it. Now guys, let me introduce you guys to all the ingredients we have here today. On the right here we have some crushed garlic, some ground pepper, smoked paprika, some butter, apricot jam is the star of the show besides the fish, and we've got a lemon. Now guys, very easy cook, let me show you how to do this. If your snook looks like what we have in front of us here, normally it's cut open, flared open like this. If it does have a tail, it's time to get rid of that. I know some guys like to keep it in there, we don't particularly enjoy that. We're going to wrap this bad boy, it's going to be amazing. We're going to spice our snook in the banana leaf. We're going to start off with apricot jam. Now guys, apricot jam, you don't have to stick to that, but we find apricot jam has got the sweetness. We've got a smooth one here, you can also go with chunky bits. This apricot jam is also going to be like a sticking agent for us. You'll notice we don't have any salt here. Remember, a pike or a snook is normally salted, so we don't like to add too much to this. We're actually going to add nothing today. Next, we're going to use some butter. Now, this is also extra. We're just going to put small little clumps of butter, if you want to call it that, just all over the fish. And this will melt eventually and just going to add to the flavor. You don't have to go too crazy with the butter. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. Fat is flavor, and I think this butter is going to elevate this dish. Once we've done that, it's time for our crushed garlic. Now, also, once again, Put as much garlic onto this beautiful dish as you like. We like quite a bit of garlic, so we're just going to spread it all over. We've got some smoked paprika, and it's also going to elevate this dish and give it that little bit of smokiness that we're after. Then we're going to add a little bit of ground pepper. You just want to make sure that your fish is covered all over to make sure that it's got all the wholesome goodness of the spices that we can give it here today. Then, guys, we're going to add a little bit of lemon zest. There you go. We're also going to cut this lemon and add a little bit of that juice onto this fish. At this stage, we want to wrap this bad boy. Right, guys, as you can see, we're just wrapping at the moment and we're going to make sure that we get rid of the stem. The stem's in the way. And basically, there's no right or wrong here. You guys can also use butcher's twine. That's what we're doing. We want to go 90 degrees to each other and just make sure that this baby is nicely wrapped. Now it's time to move over to the fire. We're going to use medium heat. It's wrapped in a banana leaf, so we're not too worried about the heat. If it's a little bit higher, it's not the end of the day. Normally, if it's on the open fire, you want to make sure it's medium to low heat. Guys, we're looking at about eight to nine minutes aside. Let it rest for now. Eight minutes later, flip it over. It can't burn, so don't stress too much about that. The banana leaves is going to keep all those flavors together. It's going to be truly amazing. Eight minutes aside, 16 minutes in total. It's time for this bad boy to come off the fire. 18 minutes on the fire, wrapped in this amazing banana leaf. Let's cut it open and see what we have. Look at that, full of juices, it looks flaky, let's try this bad boy out. Guys, that moment of truth, let's taste it. Look how it just falls apart, look at that, right. Cheers boys and girls. Wow. That snook. It's amazing. This is truly traditionally South African dish. It's amazing. It's tasty. 
It's fishy. It's beautiful. The garlic, the butter, the sweetness of the jams coming through. Not too much, it's just perfect. There's a balance. This is a dish I'll have any day. Boys and girls, you have to try it out. You know the story. If you like what you're doing, like, share, subscribe. Enable those notifications so you get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We cannot do it without you. We'll see you on the next one. Sure. You want to try? It's amazing.